a visionary South African community, inspired by matters of velocity, brings an African first to Mpumalanga province, offering its world-renowned natural beauty and rich cultural heritage as a backdrop for the Sabi 109 TT, a unique private government initiative from footpaths to wagon trails to roads. Proposed route uh, starts in Sabi, goes through Hazy View, then climbs up to Kraskop, then comes back down to Sabi again. Total of about 109 kilometers with some very high elevation changes. The proposed circuit can be divided up into several different sections, each one with its own character. If we start in Sabi, we would then go out towards Hazy View and go through what's called the 22, which is quite a famous route now. It's 22 kilometers long, contains about 76 corners uh, of various speeds. They're all, almost all constant radius, starting off in Sabi at about just over a thousand meters. And as you make your way through the 22, the elevation goes down to 470 meters as you pass over the Sabi Bridge. The first sector, the 22, so named by Bob Hardy, writhes through forestry, natural woodland and savanna, following the Sabi River meander. Hospital bend, mine shaft, coal tire chicane, the gearing is mid-highs, with a steed firmly held. Onwards they fly. I think an event like the Sabi TT would just attract tourism, obviously, to the area. It's a very tourism-related area. Get the customers bums in beds, as they say, but also highlight the area as a tourism destination. The roller coaster, undulating through farms, yielding lychees, banana and pecan. Goldstream, Hippo Hollow and Balloon, fly me to the moon. From there, you turn left and head up back towards Kraskop, which is now a different section completely, and offers you some real high-speed tarmac riding. The switchback to Hraskorp unloads the machines. Shangan Strait, Black Rhino Run and Chainsaw cut through the swaggering forests on the knee of the escarpment with Blader River Canyon and Burke's Luck potholes below. And at the end of the Hazyview Hraskorp section, you turn left and there comes one of the most challenging parts of the circuit. Up the Cavanes Pass, which contains several tight hairpin bends, and then on through a tunnel and up towards Kraskop. The Kavain section wears a shroud of anonymity, so named after a Sutu chief. God's window is assaulted by precision piston and roaring pipe. Kruger's gold is rumored to be buried somewhere on the sill, in sight of the venerated Kruger National Park. From there you will pass through the area called the Bonnet, which is the highest elevation of the circuit, 1520 meters, which gives you a total of over 1100 meters in elevation change for the whole circuit, 
which also has something in the region of 276 corners. All in all, an enormously challenging circuit, something that I think would be a great asset to the whole area. The panorama section flows down the mountain back to Sabi, the Bonnet, Spitzkopper, Mac Mac Falls and the Jump. A fast 250 km per hour plus exercise in free flight along the edge of the world. Where only the fearless are free. The soil on either side of the asphalt is arable and in some places wild, offering living lifestyle investment opportunities. The Sabi 109 TT will be a world-class event, taking place in spectacular scenery on well-made and well-cambered roads tailor-made for motorsport. The successful hosting of the Sabi 109 TT will become another world-class event that South Africa has become renowned for hosting. The Long Tom Cannon guards a landscape ancient and bold, where only the brave mine the gold. As a unique private government partnership, the Sabi 109 TT aims to bring broad-based development and skills exchange within the tourism, sports sector, with broader regional economic empowerment in a sustainable annual event with growth potential. A tier tier, Swiss Isle of Man here on Sabi, I think it's an amazing idea. This beautiful area, unbelievably mooi paaie, picturesque, tourisme gaan getrek word. Ek think this beautiful. The Sabi 109 TT is proudly South African inspired by the original Isle of Man TT. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Tourism is very good for Sabi. Yeah. <laughs> Africa beauty in everything. Yeah. 